So I always try to set my alarm for 8 in the morning. I usually love to get up early, but I mean some days I'm exhausted, so if I feel overworked, I will stay in bed to get my energy back up. So once I open my blinds for some natural sunlight, I begin by making my bed. Not only does this help me be more productive throughout the day, but it also prevents me from getting back in bed and procrastinating on all the things I need to get done. So I'm just showing you guys this jade tool I purchased from Amazon. I recently started doing this in the morning when I wake up and I found it helped with my morning puffiness and the tension on my skin, especially in the middle of my forehead where I tense up the most. Now I'm just going to go in with my Oral-B Super Floss, which is a really good floss for people who have braces or a permanent metal retainer like I do. For toothpaste, I'm just using the Crest Extra Whitening Toothpaste. And then for cleanser, I'm just going to go in with my CeraVe Foaming Cleanser, which is usually for normal to oily skin, but I feel like this is a great cleanser for sensitive skin, which is what I have because it's gentle enough and it gives a nice good and light cleaning to my skin. Next, I'm going in with the Physician's Formula Vitamin Shot Serum to help with hydration and it's also going to brighten my skin. For some moisture under my eyes, I'm using the CeraVe Eye Repair Cream which is gentle enough to not irritate my skin and helps with my dark under eyes. For my face, I'm going to use the Aveeno Positively Radiant Daily Moisturizer with SPF 15, which I find to be light enough for my skin, especially under foundation, and it still provides a good amount of hydration, and it doesn't feel greasy. And for my lips, I'm going to use the Carmex Lip Balm. And to start my hair, I'm just going to run a brush through it, get all the tangles out. And then I'm going to push it all back and add some water and then also add some dippity doo gel and push it all back. Then I'm going to shape my hair with a hairbrush into a ponytail and then I'll tie it all up. And then I'm just going to brush down my baby hairs using a toothbrush I use just for my hair. And then I'll clean up all the straggly pieces with some gel. And that's pretty much it. So I usually bring my water bottle down and rinse it out and add some fresh water for the day. I'll sip usually a cup of water to hydrate myself before I start my coffee and then I'll put it away for later. So for coffee, I'll pour about 6 to 7 ounces of water in my Keurig. For coffee, I like to use the Espresso Dolce Crema K-Pods. And then I'll usually frost some vanilla oat milk in my frother that I got from Amazon, which I love. While the oat milk's still frothing, I'll pop in some fresh bakery bread in my toaster. I really like the flavor of this espresso with the vanilla oat milk, and then the froth just makes it 10 times better. This is so good, you guys have to try it. So while I sip that, I'm going to start on my breakfast, and for today's menu, we are having avocado toast. I know, really basic but I don't know if you guys have seen this recipe there. I'm sure you have, it's nothing crazy. Anyways, I just cut up some cherry tomatoes, 
And then I just halved an avocado and I'm running some slices through it. Now I'm grabbing my toast and I'm just putting the slices of avocado on there. And then I'm just gonna add the cherry tomatoes and then some peppers and onions from last night's dinner. And then for toppings, I'm gonna use flax seeds and chia seeds, which both have so many benefits for you. And I'll add some crushed pepper for some kick and some sea salt for taste. So I just quickly want to touch base on the topic of affirmations while I eat. I've noticed my mom uses affirmations for a few years now and I never really understood until I really looked into the benefits. So I've started to incorporate them more into my day to day routine, whether it's day or night. Um, I realized how important it is to believe in yourself, you know, just pushing yourself to overcome your own self doubt and create a positive headspace. Of course, affirmations don't work for everyone and that's okay, but it doesn't hurt to try if you're ever feeling down. And then this also goes hand in hand with reading books related to positivity and self-care. Books don't always have to be long to be influential. Like I've purchased a few easy reads from the bookstore, such as a self-care book. Like I enjoy reading a few short sayings just for that extra reassurance and guidance. So my mom gifted me this fit journal for Christmas and I honestly really like it. It guides you to state what you are grateful for, what you love about yourself, you know, reflecting on your mood and your goals. And I also use a notebook for my video layouts, um, kind of like things I want to make sure I include in each one. So I'll just write a few little notes down. I'm going to wear my Lululemon outfit and then I'm just doing a full body workout. Now I'm going to hop in the shower to freshen up and I'll start by using the Marc Anthony Grow Long Strengthening Shampoo. I really like the smell of this one. I haven't really tested it out. I've only tried it a few times. And I'll just rinse out all the water in my hair and then I'll go in with the same conditioner. For a body wash, I'll use the Olay Moisturizing Body Wash, which leaves my skin feeling so smooth afterwards. And I really like the smell of the Shea Better one. And then of course, for Feminine Wash, I'm using the Vagisil pH Balance. I really like the smell of it, it's just so natural. Now that I'm all fresh and ready for the day, I'm actually going to go back in with the serums and the face creams that we were using earlier. Honestly, I didn't realize I would need to shower after that workout. So yeah, you can obviously skip the early morning skincare if you're going to shower later on like I did. I know I did it twice and it's so unnecessary, but hey, double skincare ain't going to hurt nobody.
So to moisturize my body, I'm going to use the coconut body oil and I'm adding this everywhere. I love the smell of coconut. So anything that smells like coconut, I'm rubbing all over my body. And then I'll go in with some firming body lotion by Nivea for some extra hydration, especially during this dry season. So now I'm just going to brush out my hair and start sectioning out my bangs. I'll put a big roller on my bangs just to let them air dry. So now I'm just going to leave my hair to air dry and that pretty much brings us to the end of this video. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up or leave a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. But anyways, I'll see you guys in the next one.